A&E's Duck Dynasty is one of the top shows on cable TV. People love watching that. Viewers can't get enough of the Robertson clan. Phil and Kay have been married for 49 years with four children and many grandkids. But things haven't always been happy, happy, happy for the Robinsons. Take a listen. He became more and more mean and mean-spirited. And what I would tell my boys all the time is, that's not your daddy. That's the devil in your daddy. I would say the low point is when I ran Miss Kay and the kids off. You're all alone, no hope, miserable. That's when I began to serious contemplate, is there a way out of all this? That clip from a new documentary, I Am Second, Phil Robertson. That's right, Phil drank, got into trouble with the law, and was just plain old mean to Miss Kay earlier in their marriage, as she said. John Murray back with me. John, I think this makes um, them more relatable. I think it's refreshing that they're being so honest. I love it because, you know, so often in the reality show genre, uh, people buy into the phenomenon of what you see on television, uh, the hype, the, the, you know, the glory of it all. But I love that these guys are men of faith and they talk about their spirituality, but they want people to understand that it hasn't been all peaches and cream, you know, mm -hmm. that there is a story behind the story that you see on TV. There was a road to get to this place and they want to use their story to encourage other people, motivate and inspire. And I think that's such a great thing because nobody's doing that in reality television. Yeah, I can think of a reality show, let's say like The Bachelor, that's all about um, meeting a guy and dressing up nice. This is, I believe, more towards the reality in terms of exposing what problems they have. And Phil says in the documentary, it all came down to a meeting in a bar. Listen here. So I sat down with this guy. He said, Phil, what do you think the gospel is? And I said, I don't know, gospel music on the radio or something like that. So when he went through Jesus coming down in flesh through a little virgin girl, Mary, dying on a cross, being buried and raised from the dead, I'm like, how in the world did I ever miss that? And John, I'll tell you, the fan base for this show is unbelievable. They were at a NASCAR race and people were following them around like Elvis had just arrived at the NASCAR race. Why do you think that people connect so much with this family? I think people like that they are these everyday guy next doors. No matter what you believe, no matter what your faith is, they inspire, they motivate, they encourage. And hey, they have such a non-traditional look. Look, they're the reality show version of the Beatles. Well put, with a lot more hair.